Hello, everyone. Hi, Andy. How are you doing? Hey, man. How you doing? Hello, everybody that's watching and who is going to watch us afterwards. <laughs> so I'm having a great day. Uh, today is a very, very interesting day, which we're going to be talking about um, the topic of imposters in the NFT world. And I myself uh, am an imposter. I made something like that uh, not long ago. So uh, we're going to uh, go dive into it and then we'll show you what we mean with an actual uh, model and whatnot. So um, imposter is just a brief uh, over the idea is that and the NFT came NFTs come out and then you get NFTs that do a trend like the crypto punks or the monkeys uh, the bond the, the bay C characters or the apes and there's a bunch of them. And then you get people that try to mimic that and create their own version and try to catch the wave of the NFT. And that's why I call them the, the NFT imposters. Um, what do you think about that, Artific? Yeah, so for that's, we actually started our show for talking about uh, these original ones, uh, CryptoPunks and uh, hash masks, where uh, maybe someone could uh, say that hash masks are sort of uh, uh, in this category as being second and sort of copying something. Uh, mm -hmm. But well, maybe if, uh, maybe not. If, um, uh, there we are getting to the thin eyes. Uh, but uh, <laughs> no, it's much more clear if, uh, because uh, if, uh, let me if maybe if, uh, just uh, start using uh, uh, the browser. Uh, because uh, you know, we are c getting clearly a lot of uh, just uh, sort of copying and uh, putting maybe a uh, slightly different filters or a little bit different take and uh, but uh, the idea is uh, almost the same uh, where uh, uh, there are a couple of original ones uh, like these uh, Yacht Club uh, or Bored Apes or oh, oh, is it called yeah. actually? Yeah, the, the, uh, uh, Bored Ape Yacht Club. Yeah, and uh, there are actually just just now when I uh, quickly searched Twitter, uh, I found these like neon apes yet club, uh, yeah. which uh, you know you, you get the idea. Uh, there's a lot mm -hmm. of people uh, sort of searching that term. Uh, maybe are interested in the board ape yet club, the original ones, and then they hit this thing. Maybe they don't have enough uh, ETH to buy the original one. So they think, okay, maybe I buy this because it's cheaper, or maybe they even like this one uh, more. Uh, uh, it's for me, it's really hard to understand uh, this this whole topic. Uh, so maybe it's even because of that, it's um, good topic to talk about. <laughs> well, uh, I I think that this kind of brings me back to where we had uh, trading card collectibles or even further away when we had stickers, we used to collect stickers. I don't know if you did that as a child, but uh, we used to collect stickers. We collected the shit out of everything, to be honest. We had bottle caps and the weirdest things. And I think this brings back that uh, childhood feel of collecting these characters and being in a community, community that, that um, everybody, everybody you know you know it has invested, it has invested in, them in them as much as, as, much you, as have. you have and, and I, understand I understand the idea, the idea of idea creating a community, a community that's that's oh, by, by I, I, I just suddenly got uh, like a really bad uh, feedback from you I don't know if you can hear it from myself or if uh, I don't know what's no, changed no. <laughs> but I can hear it twice that's oh, weird. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. See, this is this what happens. What happens? We do live do live events. events. <laughs> How about now? Can yeah, yeah. Me twice. Yeah, it's perfect now. Cool. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So like I was saying, that just creates a community uh, around uh, an idea, and these characters they just become uh, a commodity is or like a bridge between communities to just gather in under one solid idea yeah well i actually the first time that i am looking at the board ape uh, yacht club uh, twitter page 
and I see it like 16,000 followers so far oh, for sure as uh, there's a big community uh, over there. It and... has been the, the, the largest uh, exchange uh, collection for the past week. Yeah, yeah, did, yeah. I, I uh, read a couple of articles and they are doing yeah. super good. Uh, over punks and over hashmacks, over uh, me. Well, maybe it's it's not as much as uh, punks, but over punks is is you know that's a lot to say. They they went over punks. Yeah, that's insane. It's insane. <laughs> but uh, also maybe if uh, it, it just proves the point that uh, no no one actually knows what's going on uh, because uh, then the original idea was. Yeah, like these are the, like the punks are the first one, so if, uh, they should be priced uh, the highest. They should have, uh, they should be the golden standard, and everything is just uh, copying them. Uh, right. But uh, then you might uh, actually say that they were not the first because th there were uh, these like uh, kitties, right? The the, the game. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The moon, the moon cat. Yeah, and like uh, I ha haven't heard about them like. I think Forever. that project crashed. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, I think it had to do with the burning. Uh, right. they, they, they were burning so much at a rate that it just right. burned itself out. But yeah. again, that that just uh, each project has its own um, ecosystem, and they try to come up with uh, uh, ideas that can integrate. A community and have them do things and i think the 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 ones that are being successful is because they are focused most mostly on the idea and the community side and not so much uh focused on the back end and on the kind of technical part so it just gives them something different to um you know, different to do, and it, and it's not so attached to uh, mechanical or anything, or the computer or the code or whatnot. It's mostly a community. The Apes is a crazy community. I follow a bunch of them just because I like how they um, interact with each other, and they they created this kind of family type thing. I I I, I was reading in the comments of uh, an ape that lost his job uh, that day. He was feeding down. Then a couple of them they actually asked for his resume and his uh, documentation and expertise to get oh. the, get him interviews nice. right then and there because oh. he's and he's a bay bay c uh, you know collector he's part of this huge community and i've seen kind of similar with the punks although the punks are a little bit more scattered um but and, and that's something that i i really think it's because imposters they give you that uh like it sounds like a bad word, but in this sense, I think it creates uh, an opening to gather more communities and kind of bridge between them. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think if you look at it uh, really like another entry point to, or for just a branch out of the main community and uh, yes. you, you are thinking the community first and mm -hmm. uh, you really try to connect with them and uh, uh, make it uh, like one uh, sort of idea, one sort of community and not just, yeah, these guys are doing something, they're making ton of money. Okay, so I make something uh, that's similar, uh, yeah. but cheaper and try yeah. to sell it while uh, yeah. you can, you know, while there is a hype. Uh, then <laughs> yeah, this other approach, uh, probably not, uh, not a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> might work and, uh, and there is a bunch of them and they some of them do work yeah yeah <laughs> but maybe not, them, uh, not really long term right yeah maybe not the long term i think one of them uh that might i could be wrong is um the the, the skeleton ones um and there's another one which is the the punks as soldiers uh like so they they made a, like a card game and they turned the punks into soldiers with ranks and whatnot and then, and then oh. those are like imposters are trying to you know catch up fly but i don't see it moving as much as others yeah yeah okay so uh, you you said that you actually have, uh, become imposter so uh, yeah could you show us <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh 
like I said, I'm all about collaboration. And I guess since you know me, I talk a lot about doing collaborations between parties and people that have ideas. And like I mentioned, I follow a bunch of the apes and, uh, and punks because of that community. Uh, I currently don't own uh, an ape or a punk. I was not uh, one of the few that <laughs> got a couple of them where they will under a couple of hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, I, I I would love to get my hands on an ape, but I created so I I, I wanted to see if there was a and this started out mostly as a kind of a, a joke between me and a friend saying over oh uh, you imagine uh, a punk uh the bu and he said like the punks want to become the apes now because the apes just went over them and I was like yeah so it's like imagine a punk <laughs> wearing an ape suit trying to fit in, in inside the bait club he's wearing ah, apes too. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, so I was like, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to try that. And I just went ahead and did one. And it was super fun to do, so I decided to just keep doing them. And <laughs> we came out, this is... Ah, oh, here he is. Oh. Okay, so this is the board Ape Hunt. You know, so he aped himself. He became you guys, an ape. Did you see it? That's so cool. <laughs> so the, the the idea is trying was to I said you know what, I'm gonna keep doing this guys. I'm gonna uh, do five each week, and just mint them, and see if as a kind of experiment I can bring these two communities uh, together into <laughs> one community with a bridge, uh, with an imposter bridge. So that was kind of the whole idea of making an imposter version of the punks and the apes. Basically, I just grabbed from one of the apes and the punks, I just grabbed uh, two of them and get the characteristics and try to make them fit, that make logic. Yeah, it actually, uh, it actually looks like really good, uh, the avatar. It does. I actually, yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> I like, when I got in, I was showing it to a friend. I was like, oh, wait, this actually looks very nice. It looks better in, in, in here than it does on Unity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like 2D, if, uh, it's uh, well, not, so, not so interesting, but uh, like this one is, is really cool. Yeah. And yeah, I like, uh, I don't know, for, do for the punks and apes uh, do for avatars as well? Uh, like this uh, one. I, so I know the apes. There's a couple of uh, artists in in the community, and they have done 3D models and animations and all those sort of things. Uh, they just launched a YouTube channel 24/7, which is badass. I love it. They have a a, a Bay Basy animation in the background, just plays 24/7 with a uh, lo-fi tunes. I love lo-fi. That's kind of uh, my jam when I'm working. And see the. the they do those sort of things to get the community uh, having uh, activities together. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It's cool to look at, to be honest, it's for sure. Yeah, especially because it has like uh, two eyes, so for, uh, two sets of eyes, oh, two eyes, everyone has two eyes, uh, two sets of eyes. So if uh, just sort of uh, don't know where to look, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I I, I usually uh, end up looking at the like uh, the punk face, but uh, the punk sometimes face? yeah. Do you look at the ape. Maybe it... I can go like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. you look at the ape. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, I look at the ape uh, as well. It's it's like two-headed dragon sort of, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like yeah. one main head, but uh, there's the second one, and you you need to acknowledge that. So, <laughs> so th this one is not set up for it because I haven't finished it. But they hopefully that the, the, both eyes are gonna be blinking. <laughs> so oh, that be cool. and and the mouth is also gonna be moving with this one. Yeah. Wow, oh, guys, can anyways, you imagine it? <laughs> yeah, so uh, that that's kind of my imposter, and I think um, I don't know if you agree with me, but I think sometimes uh, they, they a lot of people do it for the wrong reasons. But I do believe, and I want to believe that if you do it for the right reasons, and uh, it's something that communities are gonna back it up, and you know, it's gonna help people like that guy that lost his job instead of just being apes 
in this case, for example, in my, my idea, instead of just being apes that are helping him, he also has the large community of the fund and so on. Yeah, yeah. Well, like when I joined uh, or when I learned about uh, NFTs, like I thought about that, this is like really cool and mm -hmm. I want to get uh, like something, uh, I want to participate. And I started to looking at art. I didn't understand it like very much. I didn't understand uh, like the pricing uh, in NFTs and uh, whole community thing and so on. Uh, but uh, so f then I started looking at also the hype and uh, yeah, when some project is really hyped up, it's really difficult to actually buy anything and it gets even more hyped up. Hyped up. So f I was really confused with that and I went back and found like um, hiding or like my good place in f looking right. for f um, some like, usage uh, for the NFT. So far, that's why I end up uh, owning uh, lots of land in some new space and uh, other metaverses. And uh, uh, I think now when we are talking about uh, these imposters and uh, about the Yacht Club uh, and so on, it's yeah, it's more clear to me that it's really not the value in these uh, simple digital uh, images, uh, but in the uh, community around it, because. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, it's it's all about the people, and uh, uh, you actually get utility with the co community like that because mm -hmm. you, you get uh, you get to uh, sort of uh, like if you are just alone, it's very difficult to do anything anywhere. But and that's uh, a rule of life. Yeah, yeah, and uh, now with the NFT space, there's a huge community, and you get to work with inside it, but still you are alone. But if you uh, then become part of uh, I don't know, board eight club or uh, some other uh, community, uh, then suddenly you get connections and mm -hmm. uh, you get access and the access uh, is the utility. So for them owning the NFT could be really like access to a private club uh, yep. that gets you for uh, this access. And I know for, I don't know if uh, it's like uh, for the board apes, but I know for uh, the, uh, our uh, friend uh, uh, NF Tech, uh, he's, uh, he's yeah, doing Rock. the Roxos. Yeah, so he has yeah. actually uh, he has like Discord for uh, people uh, that own uh, the for, or well everyone. Uh, then he has roles for people that own uh, the Roxos, and then he has a private uh, group of uh, early collectors, and uh, just gives you different sorts of access and advantages in the collection but also for much closer contact like with him and with other people as well so yeah i think this is this this might be for one important thing for other people to consider when minting nfts how they yeah. fit into this community idea yeah and not because you're trying to improve on other NFTs, it means that you're trying to, you know, kind of catch the wave and, and make millions behind it. I, I would say that if you're doing it for the right reasons, uh, imposters can actually bring people together. And it's just another way of flattering if you do it the right way. Yeah, I, I'm curious if, um, like, what would be the right way uh, to, to do it if if someone wants to like likes uh, apes and has some idea uh how to how to make something the right way and how to jump into this community building sort of thing so i, I would say that would be kind of relative i, I don't want to say like the, my way is the right way I, I would say that they do it like from the heart try to not be Try to not scam people or try to not just do it for the money, I guess. Maybe, um, okay, now I'm just going to do it because uh, I know the apes sold and the punks are selling. So I'm just going to do one in between and sell this. Um, like I said, if, if it sells or it doesn't, for me, it would be, I mean, it, it would be the best thing that could happen from it. It's just a community bridge between two large communities. And somebody can actually get some help, or uh, you know, or you know, meet, meet maybe a, a good friend there, or even some someone more important. 
Yeah, yeah. I think uh, like you have a quite good entry because you actually started with the Yacht Club and then you yeah. went for this one where uh, some people were uh, actually uh, giving you maybe the idea okay like maybe we could do the yacht club for the actual board ape yacht club because well, they have board apes but they don't have the yacht club actually or actually they metaverse. do have they, they have it have, oh, yeah okay. they they par they just partnered up with the central land uh, ah, cool. and actually somebody in one of the posts that i put in twitter somebody said oh let's make a jack club and invite the apes and so actually but, but um, central land doesn't have a like lake or sea or anything so no no it's different of course uh it's not something like it's for lame. example here in somnian <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh but it's another style i mean it, it's yeah. super awesome in its own way and uh but we are actually building cre creating an event uh, hopefully we're gonna start launching some promotion next week but uh hope we are gonna invite anybody that hasn't come to somnian and since it's gonna be a jack club, we wanna invite the apes as well to come and you know party in uh, the first actual jack club with a jet in there that you can actually walk inside of it. Ah, cool! And, That's awesome. Yeah. So we're gonna go after here. See it? It's all set up already. Thank you, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All yeah. right. That's that's really cool. Yeah, so far, well, for what I really hope is that we get more projects that uh, yeah, that have this community building uh, idea behind it and uh, yes. really work actively on bringing people yes. together, creating maybe like some smaller discord, some then joining up uh, with bigger ones and yes. uh, just just bringing people together, not being. Uh, uh, just uh, yeah, I'm doing this mine own thing, and uh, yeah, I'm competing with everyone else, because I I think uh, especially in the NFT space is the other way around. Uh, the less you compete and more you the more you get co like collaborate with others, the uh, yeah. more interesting your thing actually is, because it's just island in the middle of nowhere, and mm -hmm. uh, no one is interested in that. But if it's, it's <laughs> like of a cool building in a yeah. city center and it has all the connections with the, all the other buildings then yeah it actually becomes quite cool uh, this is not corporate you know this is like the little businesses they actually found a place where they can be huge but maintain the you know they're being humble so this is not about big sharks eating small fishes this is about a school of fishes swimming against big sharks yeah, and it this allows the little fishes to actually, you know, <laughs> have monkeys too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah monkeys strong together. That's yeah. that's one of the yeah, memes, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I I love the the community. It's super badass, to be honest. I I just well, I follow most of them just to see uh, what they come up, and they have so many artists. It's just super interesting. Yeah, I was actually curious where, where it started because uh, like first time I started hearing these, these ape uh, memes, it was on the uh, on this uh, Wall Street bet Reddit where yeah. uh, they called themselves so, so like degenerates and apes. And uh, it, it was either on Reddit or 4chan. Those are the, where everything is born in the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I yeah. mean, maybe we can have it. There's an ape watching. Uh, maybe we can have one of them that knows the history and come here and sit with us and let's talk about the basic history. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah, that's a good uh, idea. If you're a an nape and you know the history, <laughs> uh, contact him because he's more famous <laughs> than I am. So you probably have him. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so if, uh, it's uh, Artifact CZ on Twitter. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, uh, send me a message. Uh, messages are open, so uh, feel free to reach out. And uh, yeah, we can have you as a guest uh, next time. And uh, I would uh, like to hear all about that. <laughs> okay, so uh, what's next? Uh, what's next for you, Andy, uh, with uh, these uh, uh, apes? <laughs> Actually, uh, I, ju I just I, I really enjoyed making them, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm going to be making five each week and just minting them. And they're going to be purely random. Um, also, for anybody that owns a punk and an ape, 
and you wish to have a ba uh, you know aboard a punk, you can just DM me and I'll make a a custom bat for you and put it in a private um, auction. So that is something that for that I offer just to help bridge in the community. If you you if you have a neighbor, you have a punk, and you want to mix those and create your own. I'll wow, do that, yeah, for you. that would be cool. Would be cool. And yeah. what do you do for? Uh, like uh, if someone doesn't own them but would like some yes. specific one yes so yeah of course but uh in that case and if it happens i would totally want to well i mean at least find the owner uh, of of one of them is this going to be something very specific about the ape maybe or if it's just very random then it's okay but it's very specific that you can notice it, it was taken from that ape in particular then Maybe, you know, not do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. that uh, some people might like some features, you know, like yeah. glasses or uh, the VR goggles oh. or something like that. Yeah. You know? yeah, that can, yeah, totally can be done for sure. I mean, I'm going to do 1,000. That's only, there's 10,000 apes, so I'm not going to be able to make them all. <laughs> uh, so if there's one specific that somebody wants, I for sure would do the auction privately and just, um, they can have it. Awesome. Yeah, I have some so, ideas. And <laughs> we're gonna have uh, also vouchers, which I'm gonna mint this week, gonna drop in this week, and for avatars of those BAP that you own. If you own a BAP, you can get buy buy a voucher and get an avatar for it, like this one. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. So fast, like two different things uh, that, that you need to have. It's, it's not just, uh, but uh, you can, uh, to be able to get the avatar, you actually uh, need uh, both the voucher and uh, one of the yeah. NFTs. Yeah, so I, I don't want to make a thousand of these. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to make a limited by a voucher and the other one just, you know, make sure that whoever wants it is actually going to be part of the community itself and is investing in the community. It's not just going to grab it because it's cheap. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually Bad. like, like in these uh, in the in the metaverse. It's like first I saw it with, uh, with the rock saws where uh, like there were like a, a couple of like a party of uh, different avatars with the uh, same team uh, and uh, uh, they just partying together and uh, having fun. So. Uh, yeah, this is, this seems uh, like this could be a trend uh, in the future where uh, people could have like these different avatars and and it's you, you can actually see it uh, how for how the other guy uh, looks like. So uh, uh, then, if they don't have the avatar, they uh, like okay. I, I know you are not from the inner circle. Uh, I. I I don't know you. Yeah. I don't want to uh, talk with you, or uh, I don't know. Just uh, it can it can become really sort of private circle uh, sort of thing for different groups of people uh, with their uh, own sort of memes and jokes uh, and communities. I'm really, really looking forward to uh, this space like in a year. Oh yeah, I totally see that happening. I mean, uh, it, there, it, there's something about having an avatar with a friend that looks like it's from a collection. There's something about it. I don't know about you, but I look at these two and it just yeah. looks nice to, looks to amazing. just have <laughs> these guys together. It's just something that it's something that you can't... I'm taking a picture. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because so, this is like the real world. When, when something cool happens, we take a selfie. So. Yeah, yeah absolutely. there's something about it. Uh, there's something about looking at a friend with something similar to you. It makes you feel like you're part of the same creature. You're part of the same, you know, uh, herd. So that's part of it. And I think eventually they are going to all want to come into the metaverse. It, it doesn't have to be here. It could be a bunch of them. Um, and they are starting to slowly leak in. And it's happening. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Because then you get to actually interact as the as the ape or uh, as the uh, uh, punk or uh, whatever different avatar. It's not just uh, 
and people are already doing that by using the pangs and apes as their uh, thumbnails and mm -hmm. uh, as profile photos but yep. and uh, then every message is sort of signed by this picture so it's almost there but yeah, it's just like text so uh, it's not it's not personal but uh, in the VR space then yeah it's it's getting personal yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It, it gets real <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it, it, it gets it real. Gets a little bit, it starts to get very real when you are you know here with the model itself so yep I think um like uh, as last thought is that as long as you do imposters as a, uh, as a as a way to improve the community you are trying to mimic, then it's a great idea. And to always try to look for ways to improve those communities and add up to it and not be competing for attention of their followers. They work hard for their followers. Um, just try to do something that helps them in that way yeah bring value and uh, the good things uh, will happen yeah if you just take well, people don't like uh, people that just come somewhere don't know uh, uh, no one knows them and they just yeah, here's my link go there like sure sure I will <laughs> right uh, I mean uh, yep <laughs> uh, there, there's there's people and, and there's ways of doing things and some and I think everybody makes makes mistakes. Um, again, I, it's more of what's here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. So I think we kind of reached the end of our show, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so again, I want to thank you, my man, for always hosting this show, which is super fun to be in. And I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, thank you, Andy. It was a great talk. And uh, yeah, so for everyone that's watching right now, uh, don't forget uh, to follow because there's uh, a lot of uh, going on and you don't want to miss any of that. And uh, like uh, oh, yeah, and baby. comment uh, so we know f what you actually think and we can improve. So thank you very much. Yeah. See you guys. Let's go to a Jack Club, dude. See you and have a nice day. Bye.